Hello everyone, uh, my name is Matt and this is the Matt tutorial. Uh, we're gonna start with um, ArchiCAD 25. Uh, I purchased and installed uh, ArchiCAD 25 on my laptop and uh, we're gonna start with the very beginning of what will happen when we open the um, ArchiCAD 25. First we see something like this. Uh, I'm gonna skip the uh, sign in part. Then um, here we can um, choose that if you want to start a new project or we want to open um, a recent uh, projects that here uh, we could have the list of our recent projects. Now I'm going to start with a new project. Uh, here it asks that uh, in which template do you want to uh, open your new project or work. That here we only have uh, the ArchiCAD 25. And um, the work environment is uh, the last profile used. Since we didn't have open any other projects, uh, it's gonna be the basic work environment, which looks like this. <clears throat> Of course, not messy like that. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> okay, I usually work with ArchiCAD with this type of uh, arrangement because most of the um, screens, most of the monitors are um, 60 by 9. So we have um, more space um, horizontally than vertically. So I'm trying to uh, have more environment to work with. So I uh, move this one from the part that here we cannot read or have uh, all the options in one glance. So I'm doing this. If you don't see these windows here, these palettes here, you should go to windows, uh, palettes. And uh, here we have toolboxes, which is these. Uh, the info box, uh, the status bar, and the navigator. To understand better the um, work environment, I'm going to open um, a recent project that I did. Of course, I did it with uh, ArchiCAD 22, but um, I'm going to open it with uh, ArchiCAD 25. And it's opening my project right now. Okay, um, it says that um, the library that I used is, for example, ArchiCAD 22, but uh, this is the newer version of uh, uh, ArchiCAD. So uh, I'm gonna skip the library migrations and it's gonna open my project. Okay, this is a very basic um, plan that uh, I did. Um, I know it's not. <clears throat> I know it's not very uh, professional or um, <laughs> architecturally, but uh, I was designing something in my mind. So basically, it's just a design like a sketch. So um, here we have different levels of uh, this um, house. And just to understand uh, much better, this is uh, the volume that I have. And these are my other sketches that I did. So here. OK, we have uh, all the uh, objects that we have here. OK. We're going to start with understanding the environment of uh, ArchiCAD. So basically here we have uh, toolboxes that here 
I'm going to show you like that. Uh, uh, we have three basic parts. Uh, design usually um, works with uh, 3D objects like walls, columns, as, as you can read. Everything that you need for architecture is right here to design. Here we have documents, which is dimensions, fields with these blue things that you see here. Uh, lines for sketching, circles, splines that we're going to use uh, it so much. And uh, in the viewpoints, we have elevations, sections, um, interior elevations that I honestly never use. Uh, details and worksheets. Also camera used for the final renders, which um, I'm not very happy about the quality of uh, the outcome. So I do my uh, renders with uh, 3ds Max and V-Ray. The first step to start a project uh, to design in architecture is uh, to know in which unit we want to work. So uh, here in the option, project preferences, we have working units. Here I uh, set, set it to a meter with two decimals. As you can see, here is one meter and 23 centimeter. If you need something more, like if you want to work with feet and uh, inches, or you want to use the metric version. So also for the um, area units, Definitely, I'm going to use square meter since I use meter here, two decimals. And uh, for the volume, also the meter. And we have angles here and uh, layout units. So to start my tutorial, I want to um, show that um, the ARCHICAD works like this. For example, if you want to draw a wall, you can start with one click and the second click um, will show the end part. And here we have two pop-up uh, windows. One is this and the other one shows the distance and the angle. So for example, if you want to say we want to have a 12 meter of the wall and with the angle of 45 and enter. So this is my wall. The thing that I want to point out is uh, not how to draw a wall. Uh, I want to point out that when you click for the first time, you can see these two windows and how to work with uh, these two windows. And uh, what does this do? Uh, this one is a straight segment and this one, um, is a way to draw arcs. So for example, my starting point here, I'm going to uh, do the second point here. And the third point shows me um, where I want to have my arc here. As you can see, it's not very accurate. It's not very, um, maybe it's not very useful. But you can be sure that your starting point is uh, with this angle. So at the end, uh, the wall that you have, um, it's going to be with this angle. The second uh, thing is uh, arc by three points. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So as you can see, you can, uh, you can understand better the arc that you are um, drawing. So if I click here, then I can choose how much do I want this arc to be. The third, the last one is the uh, arc by uh, center point, which you can uh, choose the distance of the um, radius of uh, the wall. And then you can have your arc here. I know it's uh, so soon to talk about the arcs, but I just want you to understand uh, these uh, windows, these pop-up windows much better. Okay, I'm going to delete these two with the delete um, key on my keyboard. Then I want to show you this. For example, I have a wall here 
with the shift key I can uh, snap it to one uh, direction and then the second one for example here okay then I'm gonna do okay if you want to just uh, draw a um, straight wall you should just uh, put this on the straight so later on i'm gonna talk about the walls maybe in the next video but here as you can see um, this pencil has a uh, different shapes uh, when it is like this when it is like this or it's like this so what does it mean for example i want to draw this line here if i'm on a on a guideline or on a specific angle it kind of shows there's a line uh, in the pencil that means that you are on this line or on this x okay when i'm when i'm on the wall uh, it shows the same. Uh, it means that uh, the things that you're drawing is uh, on the line, on the exact line here. So if you zoom in, see the difference? Now, at the end of the pencil, it's white. Now it's black. Later on, when we want to work with the walls, I'm going to tell you what is the difference between these two. And if you come here at the end point, your uh, the, the pencil uh, gonna go black. See? Okay, it means uh, it is at the end point here. So when I click it, it's gonna show a complete clear wall. Imagine we draw this and we want to change this wall. First, if I select this and click on it and uh, just look at the, the cursor. When it goes here, uh, it becomes like, um, I don't know, upside down Y shape, which means that you are on the line of the wall. Here is just a magnet. That means um, you're snapping to the wall, okay? But here, if I click a window pop-ups, here I can uh, insert a new node um here on my wall so we're gonna have a shape like this and i can uh, do it as much as i want but the other option is have uh, an arc here we can um, drag this wall and have an arc as we wish and the third one is uh, by using this so if you want to our arc um, go uh, directly with this line, I can uh, go like that. So we are sure that here our wall is completely connected to this wall here. Here we have two walls. Then we have different things that I'm gonna uh, tell later on the wall. Uh, when we, we are talking uh, about how to draw a wall, how to connect them and everything and here we have a drag or move rotate mirror uh, elevate which is on the 3d and multiply multiply um, is a very big subject i'm going to talk about it later but uh, the drag and rotate are very simple so i'm going to drag this wall if i click on it it's going to um do like that so i should select this one and then i can move it for example we want to move this uh, wall uh, two meters away so i'm gonna um, do this and put number two and then enter so now i move uh, this wall what about we want to rotate it oh of course we have a shortcut uh, for this it's Control d of course, we should select it first <laughs> that we tell the archicad what do we want to move. Uh, we want to move this wall. So first we select it and then control D and then we can move it wherever we want. 
Then we have the rotate. We are going to select this, then control E. As you can see, we have a, a shape like an angle, a lot of angles. Then we're going to start with starting point. And then this wall, we want to rotate like minus 45 and then enter. Now I will, now the wall rotated 45 degrees. The other thing that um, is very useful in ArchiCAD, let me uh, delete this one. Okay, let's go back to our plan. Start a wall with um, this point. When I uh, come here, uh, the cursor changed from a cross to a tick. Now, if I uh, stay a few moments on it, a circle will uh, appear. It, it's a guideline for us that, uh, for example, from here that it shows, uh, I can uh, have a guideline like this. So if I stand a little bit more on this, okay, when I come here, I can start drawing my wall like that. So these two points are completely at the same level. The other thing is, that, uh, for example, we are going to start with this, and then this guideline shows us that this line is um, like 90 degrees to this wall. So we can draw it like that. And then from here, imagine that I want to uh, go to another direction. For example, we have another wall here, like that. I'm gonna go to here. I don't want to finish this line, okay? Now it shows my guideline here. Then I click and uh, I can draw the wall. But for example, I want to come here, but not till the end. I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna stay here for a moment. And then when this circle shows, it's gonna show me the, um, this guideline, you see? So when I'm uh, keeping the shift key on my keyboard, I can uh, move only on this um, guideline. And it's a very big help uh, when you are designing a very complicated uh, plants with too many points. So I can choose this to uh, draw the wall till here, for example. Then imagine that we want to draw a wall based on a circle around here. So by coming here, right clicking, plus the snap guide right uh, circle, this circle shows the exact uh, distance from this point to this point. So I can do that, for example. Or let's say that we want, we draw a wall here and we want to come to this point. We're going to keep the shift down and then we're going to click it here. When the pencil is black, means uh, we are at this point. Here is black. So this wall is going to, mm, uh, it's going to be parallel to this wall. So far, uh, these are the basic things that you should know about uh, ARCHICAD environment. I'm going to delete uh, this um, temporary walls. And then uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about uh, how to draw a wall, how to come up with uh, windows and everything. If you want to know more about ARCHICAD, uh, please subscribe. And uh, we're going to talk about all these uh, tools that you see here step by step. If you have any problems uh, drawing or if you know uh, something more than I said, uh, I would like to read those on the comments uh, below. Uh, so um, see you soon with the next uh, video.